We know life plays a curious trick on us, when it's not the shiny cutting-edge tech that propels our understanding to new heights at the fringes of our solar system, but an ancient contraption. Picture this. An onboard computer with less memory than your car's key fob chugging along with 8-track magnetic tape from the 70s. Yes, it's older than many of you watching right now. Welcome to the paradox of deep space exploration where the vastness of distances and lengthy travel times can render technology obsolete before reaching its grandest goals. Enter the star of the show, the legendary Voyager 1 probe, a relic at nearly 45 years old alongside its partner, Voyager 2, the pioneers that became the first human-made objects to touch interstellar space. Imagine this. It takes NASA more than 21 hours to ping Voyager 1 over a staggering 23 billion kilometers, while a radio signal reaches Mars in a mere 20 minutes. The mind-boggling part. Communication happens through a 3.7-meter antenna using tech that feels more museum-worthy than something from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Yet, this outdated marvel endures prompting the question. What secrets lurk within its aged frame? How did Voyager's creators fashion a spacecraft that defies time, setting unprecedented records? Go on a journey with me today as we delve into the technological wonders of the Voyager probes, uncovering the cunning engineering decisions that paved the way for the most audacious and triumphantly successful mission in the annals of space exploration. At Spaceverse, we're not just a channel. We're a community of starry-eyed enthusiasts eager to share the awe-inspiring marvels that our universe has to offer. Subscribe to join our cosmic adventure, and let's unravel the secrets of the cosmos together. Originally slated for a five-year mission to explore Jupiter and Saturn and their moons, Voyagers 1 and 2 guided by a cadre of visionary scientists and engineers made strategic design choices. Following the completion of their primary goals at Jupiter and Saturn, the Voyager mission team added flybys of Uranus and Neptune. Subsequently, a grander vision emerged. NASA declared the onset of the Voyager interstellar mission, and the objective is to venture beyond the sin sphere of influence, exploring uncharted territories like the termination shock, the denser heliosheath, and the scorching heliopause, ultimately breaching the boundary into interstellar space. Also let's dive into one of the pivotal choices that shaped the Voyager mission. The fuel source. Each probe is outfitted with a resilient radioisotope thermoelectric generator ingeniously converting heat from the decaying plutonium-238 isotope into electric power. Picture this. At liftoff, these generators unleashed a formidable 157 watts of electrical power, which is just enough to fuel a laptop and charge a mobile phone. It might sound modest, but it surpassed Voyager's requirements. While acknowledging that the radioisotope generator's power production dwindled steadily and having every 87.7 years, it still promised ample energy to sustain the probe's vital functions until at least 2025. This foresight and long-term fuel capacity was no accident. Consider this intriguing backdrop. When the Voyagers embarked on their journey in 1977, NASA seized a rare celestial opportunity, a 1 in 176-year alignment of the planets, which is reminiscent of Napoleon's era. This celestial dance not only facilitated the Voyagers' visits to Neptune and Uranus with minimal adjustments, but also provided gravitational assist from each outer giant they encountered. These cosmic maneuvers amplified their effective velocity beyond what their own rocket propulsion could achieve. However, this celestial window imposed a stringent deadline on NASA. The constraints of time rolled out elaborate plans for follow-up missions, and Congress hesitated to allocate funds for an extended expedition, such as the initially proposed Grand Tour. Faced with these challenges, what did Voyager's ingenious team do? They orchestrated a series of engineering marvels to optimize the probes for an extended mission, fervently hoping that the necessary funding would eventually materialize. Now moving beyond the celestial choreography, each Voyager probe boasts an arsenal of 11 scientific instruments. Redundancies are strategically integrated to cope with potential machine failures, toggle able to conserve power. For course adjustments and orientation, the probes are endowed with stabilizing gyroscopes, referencing instruments, and an impressive set of 16 hydrazine thrusters, including eight backups. These backups are reliable and ready for action emerged as crucial lifelines for the Voyager probes. When Voyager 2's primary thrusters succumbed after 37 years of service, its dormant backup thrusters sprang into action four decades later, and astonishingly, 
they performed flawlessly showcasing the exceptional engineering invested in their design. Adding a touch of retro-futurism, the Voyagers boast custom-built on-board computers which relics by today's standards but avant-garde in 1977. The control center for the wide-angle and narrow-angle lens cameras is the Computer Command subsystem, armed with fixed programs for fault detection and correction routines. Another linchpin of success resides in the onboard computers, specifically the Attitude and Articulation Control subsystem. Despite its name, this computer refrains from scolding the Voyagers when they exhibit SAS. Instead, Attitude refers to the probe's orientation with respect to Earth, which is a critical factor for their high-gain antenna to send and receive signals via NASA's deep space network. In the vastness of space, where the probe's transmitters emit signals equivalent to a refrigerator light bulb's wattage. Precise communication demands the probe's antenna to face Earth, ensuring the deep space network accurately tracks their location. Without this coordination, these intrepid probes risk becoming lost akin to needles in a 287 billion kilometer haystack. Each Voyager spacecraft boasts a 3.7 meter antenna for seamless ray all time transmission and a cutting-edge 8-track digital tape recorder which is capable of deferring a colossal 536 megabits for future data transmission, which is equivalent to storing a treasure trove of 100 photographs. While this marked a monumental leap from the earlier Pioneer probes, which sorely lacked onboard data storage, it remains a mere fraction of what your contemporary smartphone can effortlessly store in its digital vaults. However, within these limitations, the digital tape recorders or DDRs were far edged to endure. Crafted by the skilled hands at Odetix, the DDRs stood as paragons of longevity that is capable of processing over 4,000 kilometers of tape without showing the slightest wear and tear. These unyielding machines had to brave the most unforgiving environments, undergoing trials hitherto untested. Yet the Voyager DDRs, steadfast and unwavering persisted without data loss or mechanical failure until they were eventually powered down to conserve energy. Not too shabby for devise us 12 years senior to the World Wide Web. As Voyager was meticulously planned, durability stood as a paramount concern. In a mission of such staggering magnitude, the unknowns loomed large. To reach Jupiter, both Voyagers had to navigate the perilous asteroid belt. Conventional wisdom once held that this region could mercilessly shred any spacecraft daring to traverse it. However, the previous triumphs of Pioneers 10 and 11 which had boldly navigated the asteroid belt, emboldened the Voyager team to replicate the feat. The stakes were high. Failure here would spell disaster before the probes could even reach their initial destination. Fortunately, both Voyagers emerged and scathed from their odyssey through the asteroid belt leaving us with the revelation that this purportedly treacherous expanse was in fact a realm of vast emptiness, thanks to their daring journey. Even amidst these triumphs and the probes exceeding their engineers' wildest expectations, the vast cosmic chasm between planets presented yet another formidable challenge. How would these stalwart vessels fare in the bone-chilling void of interstellar space? NASA foresaw the need and equipped the probes with multiple heaters to safeguard their mechanical systems. However, as the probe's power dwindled, NASA had to make the heart-wrenching decision to power down some of these heaters to conserve precious energy. When the cosmic ray detector's heater was switched off two years ago, its temperature plunged by a staggering 70 degrees Celsius. Needless to say, dispatching a repair team 23 billion kilometers into the cosmos was nothing short of a fantasy. The common belief was that this instrument would inevitably succumb to the merciless gold. Yet, defy expectations it did. The instrument continued to function smoothly. This remarkable resilience defying the harsh interstellar elements has firmly established the probe's engineering and fortitude over their remarkable 45-year journey. However, in any undertaking as lengthy and ambitious as this, there will always be unforeseen challenges. Not every aspect of the Voyager missions unfolded flawlessly. The realization dawned on Voyager's team when Voyager 1 started transmitting enigmatic scrambled signals. At a meeting in June 2022 of the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering and Medicine, NASA disclosed that Voyager 1's additive articulation and control system began spewing perplexing sequence rows of zeros that seemed like pure gibberish. Despite the probe maintaining normal operations, its speed and distance known and still responsive to commands, its telemetry data resembled an indecipherable puzzle. In simpler terms, Voyager 1 found itself in a state of confusion. 
Unfortunately, this hinted at a failing computer, and while scientists managed a workaround by switching to a backup, the day will inevitably arrive when no backups remain. Yet amidst these challenges, there's much to be grateful for. Voyager 1 has ventured farther than any other human-made object, surpassing even its counterpart, Voyager 2, despite its technology, now considered rudimentary. These missions have significantly advanced our understanding of the solar system. As we bid adieu to this long-time companion and its twin Voyager 2, the time will come to apply the engineering wisdom gained and endeavor to replicate the magic with a successor. Notably, there's a proposal from Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory for an interstellar probe slated to launch in 2036, reaching interstellar space within a mere 15 years. Perhaps this upcoming probe will outpace and surpass the Voyagers in distance and speed. Yet even if it does, when it eventually reports from the outskirts of interstellar space, it too will become a relic of the past. Yet there's something profoundly inspiring in this cycle. Just because it's an old dog doesn't mean it isn't exceptionally proficient at what it does, and that's it. If you're fascinated by Voyager, please delve into more video exploring their discoveries here in Spaceverse. Also special thanks to my patrons and members for your support. Wishing you all the best, and until next time, may your curiosity continue to reach new galaxies, and may the wonders of the cosmos inspire your journey through the stars. Safe travels fellow space explorers.